Yeah, hi everybody, it's Peter back for yet another video. Today I'm gonna to do a ranking video. I'm gonna go back to ACDC. I did this years, oh, quite a long time ago, uh, but I did the Australian versions, you know, the differences earlier in the discographies with the different covers and so on, but I'm gonna do the international um, discography with 15 albums and a little has changed in a way, but not too much. A couple have swapped around a bit, but um, it's a good to, time to do an update. And I'd like to um, um, talk to um, a subscriber out there, uh, Ace Productions, um, just to mention you. Um, how are you going out there? This is, uh, you requested this, um, and it's, I hope everyone else who uh, has a look at it, enjoys it as well. And can you give me opinions, your opinions down below when I finish? Okay, I'll start up. Number 15. Now, before I say number 15, I'd like to say I like every ACDC albums. I like, you know, all of them in some way. There's not one I, I would discard, you know, so just remember that. Number 15. And I went for Ball Breaker. Uh, a good album. I, I, I like it. Uh, some of the songs on it. Um, just that I like other albums better than it. That's all. And I like on this. I like covering you in cover you in oil, burning alive. And my favourite song on this is Ball Breaker, the title track, which is a, a classic sounding track for me. I love it. So that's number fifteen, Ball Breaker. Number fourteen. I went for. Um, stiff Upper Lip. Ball Breaker was from 1995, forgot to say that. Stiff Upper Lip, Stiff, stiff Upper Lip from 2000. Uh, yep, uh, it has its moments. Stiff Upper Lip, I like. I think that could be the best song on there, the title track. Safe in New York City, uh, the closing track, Give It Up, that's a good one. Also like uh, Meltdown, I quite like that one. So once again, um, has its has its great points as well, but for today number fourteen is stiff up a lip. Coming in at number thirteen. Now with these, I'm going to show the vinyl if I've got it. If not, if you see a CD, it's because I haven't got the vinyl. So there you go, number thirteen from two thousand and eight, Black Eyes, a real good album. I liked on this um, Anything Goes. I like the title track. Black Eyes, I like Rock and Roll Train, War Machine, this could have been higher in the list, but um, ACDC is a very hard band to do to put them in order. There's little, sometimes little difference between some of the quality of the albums. So I found that it, when you get lower in the list, it's a bit hard to do. So 13, I went for Black Ice. That's 13. Number 12. I went for their last album, Rock or Bust, uh, from 2014. Uh, a damn good album, got Rock or Bust on it. Um, Dogs of War, I quite like. And my favourite is probably Baptism by Fire. Has Play Ball on here. You know, uh, Rock the Blues Away, another great track. So, yeah, that's a good one. So, number 12 is Rock or Bust. All right, number 11. I went for this album here, Blow Up Your Video from 1988. Um, uh, some good songs on here. I like uh, Heat Seeker, uh, Some Sin For Nothing, Rough Stuff's a good one. Two's Up is probably one of the best on here too. So a, re a real a good album, not one of their classics, but uh, it's, a, it's a good listen. 1988, uh, Blow Up Your Video. That's... That one, number te top 10 now. Uh, this underrated album here, 1985's Fly on the Wall. Uh, damn good album. Um, I love on this, Shake Your Foundations. This guy thought about putting this higher, actually. And one day, who knows, could go higher. Shake Your Foundations. I love uh, Danger, you know, Fly on the Wall, Sink the Pink. Real good album, so it's got such they got such a strong catalogue. So 
Uh, you know, it's not easy to do. So number 10, I went for Fly on the Wall from 1985. Uh, number nine, from 1990, The Razor's Edge. Uh, great songs on this. has got Thunderstruck, uh, Fire Your Guns, Money Talks, a great triple opener. And The Razor's Edge uh, is, a, is a great track. Misses for Christmas, Rock Your Heart Out. Um, the front part of the album stronger than the, the, the bottom section of the album, like side two on the vinyl, but still some good songs there. Are You Ready? And, um, you know, Got You By The Balls, you know, um, If You Dare and so on. But yeah, it's a good album, uh, is The Razor's Edge, number nine. Number eight, uh, a real, a, a classic, but um, these days, not as played much by me, but uh, it's the first of the Bond uh, albums, High Voltage. Uh, yep, yeah, the uh, international version, the debut internationally. Yeah, it's got uh, great songs on it. She's Got Balls, It's a Long Way to the Top. Jeez, uh, Little Lover, Live Wire, just such classics, but uh, nothing gets the always. I love the album, but you know. There's, I've put some above it, that's all. So, it's, these lists, it, when a band has a strong discography, it's very hard to do because you, it, you, it's just a, just a little thing between these albums sometimes. You know, between, say, number two and number eight, there was not much. So, it's, you know, it's quite hard to do. So, um, yeah, number eight, High Voltage. Uh, number seven... This is a top album. I, I love this. For those about to rock, we salute you from 1981. Uh, I, there's a many I love on this. Um, for those about to rock, of course, we salute you. Put the uh, put the finger on you. Let's get it up. Inject the venom. All great songs. Snowball, I love. It's a great song, Snowball. And, you know, it's got Evil Walks. It's a menacing track. And a few more. But, um, yeah, a real good album, this one. Number, number seven is for those about to rock. We salute you from 1981. Okay, top six. Number six is a, a guilty pleasure of mine. Uh, underrated. The most probably most underrated album for me. Flick of the switch. Number six. A great album from start to finish. Uh, could have made my top five. Uh, that's how much I like it. Um, Rising power. You know, flick of the switch. Nervous shakedown. Great song. Landslide, you know, uh, Guns for Hire, just everywhere you look, just a classic Bedlam in Belgium. I don't know why this is, this is not highly more, more thought of. With hardcore fans, they love it as I do, but um, yeah, well, if you know, if you've never given this a chance, do so. Number six, flick of the switch. Top five now. Uh, number five, I went for Dirty Deeds, Done Dirt Cheap, a great album from the Bond period. Dirty Deeds, of course, Love at First Feel, Big Balls, Rocker Problem Shot, full of great songs. Uh, Ride On, Squealer. Squealer's a great one, underrated song is Squealer. Yeah, so 1976, Dirty Deeds, Done Dirt Cheap. Okay, here we go. Number four, this is where I had a bit of trouble. These next three can interchange a bit. So I sort of made a compromise. I, I felt about putting this this next one higher, and but I went for number four, Let There Be Rock, a classic. Uh, this could have got higher too for me, but just at the last moment decided, you know, just thought about it a bit more, and it's just, it's not much in it. But number four, a fantastic album, a fantastic album. Dog Eat Dog, Let There Be Rock, Go Down, Bad Boy, Bo Pop, Bad Boy Boogie Problem Shot, uh, Overdose, a classic, I love that. Whole lot of Rosie, Hell Ain't a Bad Place to Be. Can't go wrong, classic. So that's number four is um, Let There Be Rock, and that could have been higher. I very much thought about putting it higher, and Nelly did so. But we well, never know, could change. And th these lists are subject to change, if anyone would know us. I think I had this at number two last time, at number three this time, 1979, the classic Highway to Hell. A bit more refined in the sound, not as raw as Let There Be Rock, but a bit more refined. They just pulled it back a bit, but still retains the um, ACDC sound. 
You can tell very much. If you listen to Let There Be Rock and this, you can tell they've pulled back on the rawness of it. Uh, you, it's, it's very evident. And, um, and, and, but not, they didn't ditch their sound like some bands do, you know, they, they stuck with their sound, but you can tell it's very evident they've pulled back on the rawness of the grittiness of the album. But yeah, classic shot down in flames, highway to hell. Uh, Girls got rhythm, uh, walk all over you, touch too much. Could be nearly my favorite on the album these days, such a classic. And um, just a great album. Number three, highway to hell. Number two, number two I went for um, Power Rage. A classic, 1978. Some people's number one album. For me, in my life, it's hovered in the top three or four ever, forever. Um, I just, it could have, it still could have been three or four, but I decided to just put it up. I play this a lot these days and it's just in my mind a bit more. But um, I guess, you know, rocking around Damn Na Damnation, Down Payment Blues, it's a wonderful track. Sin City, you know, next to the, uh, what's next to the moon, up to my neck in you. I love that one. It's a great song. Just from start to finish, a great album. So that's number two, Power Age, a great album, real great album. Number two. And number one, which has always been for me, I just, I don't know, I just clicked with me at the time when it was released and has never left me. And I just, I can't, it, it could happen, I guess, but I can't at this point have have not this at number one and one of my in my top five albums of all time just a just a classic and to this day still sounds wonderful back in black of course 1980 the first album with brian johnson uh great well where do you, look they're all classics back in black you know hell's bell shoot the thrill giving the dog a bone what do you do for money honey rock or right nice pollution let me put my love into you you should be all night long. Shake a leg, have a drink on me. Yeah. Just awesome. Awesomeness from start to finish. And uh, a wonderful album from a wonderful band. And um, yeah, and there you have it. Number one is Back in Black. So there, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, Ace Productions out there and whoever else is going to have a look. And give me your list down below. That's my latest list. It changed a little bit in the top section, some places, but the number one didn't change. But um, yeah, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. And you can't go wrong with any of these albums, even the ones down below on the list, they've got some great songs on there. So there you have it. And that's, uh, that's all from me for today and see you in the next video, bye-bye.